Hello everyone, I'm Night Sky L, and welcome back to another video. First, I want to thank you all for the support on my new song, Strangers. If you haven't already watched it, then please go check it out. The link is in the description, and I would really appreciate your feedback. Today I'm going to be going through the production behind that song, and show you how it's connected to my favorite producer slash artist, Phineas. Towards the end of the video, there are some special bonus clips of an alternative ending to the song, so stick around till the end to watch that. I would appreciate if you watched the whole video, but there are timestamps in the description, so if you want to skip around to a particular part, like for example how I produce my vocals, um, you're able to do that. I hope you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. On to the production. Um, this is one of the most simple songs that I've made, but it's also my favorite so far. For context, I was, I was watching a lot of Phineas videos, Phineas production videos, most of them are quite old, so I'd already watched them once, but now I have the same software that he does, and I was getting familiar with it, and I wanted to learn how he does his production because I'm extremely inspired by him. And I was watching him talk about how he made Therefore I Am, um, and he spoke about this drum machine kit on Logic, and Personally, I always struggled with drums. It's, in my opinion, one of the hardest elements of the song because it can make or break a song. So I always kind of hesitated to include drums. This time, drums were the absolute first thing that I started making. Um, and it started with this, basically. This drum kit machine is fantastic because you can just click around and that'll add right? You can kind of customize it however you want. Phineas does more next level stuff where he brings in his own um, instruments as well, or like sounds in everyday life, and he uses that as a kick because he can, you can edit everything quite easily on here. But I just included some basic um, kicks and things to come up with this beat. As he was talking about Therefore I Am, he, he kind of showed that he didn't have a lot of instruments in the song. And so I tried to keep it as basic as I could as well, because sometimes, like he said, um, it's really the best way to do it. Um, so I added this little wobbly thing, which is actually the same chord twice. It's just the G chord. And one time I pitched it up using this little pitcher thing. I only pitched it towards, like, on, on, on the end, so it goes doo doo, right? And the other one goes doo doo. So, yeah, I can't tell you exactly what pitch that is, you know, I'm not Charlie Poof, but it's just, I thought it was an interesting element, and it definitely had a bit more of an electronic sound than my usual stuff. I think all the songs, except for Broken People, so far have always just been guitar based which is how i make most of my stuff i don't really go too much into um instrument production and all that on logic um so i wanted to do that with this song similarly to how he had done it with therefore i am um and so next i added this little it's the bass line but it's all within the G chord, so it's just whatever sounds nice and fits to the actual thing. That's the fuzzy kind of element in the back, and then this is the front one. Kind of like bell sounding instrument. And that's really it in terms of instruments for the first part, at least before the switch up. We have vocals, um, which it all began with this one singular vocal. Strangers. I've been robbed on. And I layered it. I did the exact same tone for three layers. One of them where I was louder, and the other two where I was a bit more quiet, and I panned them to the opposite sides to just make it sound more full. Strangers. I've been robbed on. And then added some low tones. Caught in danger. Which we solo that out like it's, around, um. it's kind of more of a monotone sound and then if we go to the middle strangers, strangers. 
I used a fat is what it's called to basically put it a lot more in the background and um, that this is like the middle tone. I think overall by using like different effects that make it kind of sound like they're at different distances it made it sound a lot more full together and then the high ones I added a lot of reverb because I wanted them to sound a lot more angelic I guess is the right word um so together that's Strangers. yeah if we do I've been just the vocals caught in danger like it's them. that's the vocals this first track as you can see it was all recorded at once um I came up with all of it on the spot yeah, which I'll, I'll talk more about that later because I'll go into the lyrics. But basically, here comes... I've been fighting longer than I should. I should. And I can't catch you running in the end. Right. Just not a lot going on here in terms of vocals. Um, except for this I should, which I think... I should. That was one of the last things that I added onto the song. Um, just felt necessary. Catch me fighting. And I really, I really like that little whisper of like catch me fighting. And so I enhanced it by making the drums kind of go quiet mm -hmm. at that point. Catch me fighting strangers. Which also makes the chorus hit. I like doing things like that where it just kind of fades out. Then onto the switch up, which is a very interesting part of this song. I got really stuck before coming to the next part because I just had this, right? And I couldn't really think of any other interesting melodies or things that I could add to that. And so I went off of the lyrics and the things that I came up with and the concept of Stranger and started thinking about how how it might relate to some kind of a deeper meaning or, or what kind of message I'm trying to send. And so I introduced the Stranger. Hi, stranger. And that dirty wobble also in the same chord, so it's the G. But it's just the, the first and the last key of that chord um, that make that sound of... I, for this, I overcomplicated it for a long time. I added like 10 or 20 instruments to try and make it sound better. I'm sure it could have been better. I'm not a professional producer, as you can probably tell, but I just decided to stick with the simplicity of it um, because I thought it was interesting enough on its own. And then this next part, I came up without any instruments. So it was just purely these vocals. Why don't you hate me, baby? Which consists of a whisper track. I'll drag you down. A normal track. To hell. But. Why don't you hate me, baby? A bit silent. I, I guess, guess it's you. And then panned. You hate. Um. And then lastly, just like a, a lower sounding thing as well. Why don't you hate me, baby? To make it sound more full. I'll, I'll drag, drag you down. down. To hell. Yeah. I definitely took a lot of inspiration from how um, Billy and Phineas work on Billy's vocals. In a couple songs, she always does this kind of like, not childish voice, but this, um... Why don't you hate me, baby? Like, you know what I'm saying. Um, and then also, they do whisper tracks, I believe, and a lot of panning and different harmonies. I have less harmonies than they would have, but um, it works for the song. The next part that I came up with was the drums, which I, I'm, I'm not really a skilled drum person, like I said, so I just kind of, Baby. I did a small recording of like what the drums should sound like or what I imagine them to sound like, and I, I tried to replicate it to the best of my ability, I'll drag you but it still was down. pretty clear that it needs to hell. instruments, because I had no instruments. So I tried to find the chords for this, and I definitely wanted something a lot more aggressive. So I, I was just searching for a distorted rock guitar, basically. 
I should have found. I'll drag you down to hell. Why don't you hate me, baby? I guess it's and that that was probably one of the things that took me the longest to find just because yeah i kept trying to add one in between and nothing worked so i had to live with the fact Baby. that there was going to be like a a break here but at the end it sounded quite nice and i was a big fan of that another thing that i struggled with was, was this little upper melody that goes because I, I wanted to include that everywhere, just like that, with the ending part. But the last few notes just didn't match up with the vocals. So here's the normal one. Hey, me, baby. I'll drag you down to hell. And then here's if I added Why don't you hate me, baby? I guess it's you. It just, it didn't sound as nice. So... I left it to the last part and Yay. yeah that's the whole song there's this whole maybe track thing going on here which was actually what I initially had like this is what I wanted to have the mix-up be and it was gonna be like a heavenly thing instead of a hell bad thing wish i could tell you that it's all better wish i could run away like it's heaven wish i could tell you that it's all better wish i could run away like it's heaven like it's heaven, heaven. i quite liked it actually but i thought maybe i could do because the song is quite short i thought maybe i could do like a hell part which is this whole stranger thing where i literally say the word hell and then in the other one, I literally say the word heaven. Um, and so I thought it could be like the two sides or something in the person's head. But I decided against it in the end, just because I thought it would take away from the meaning. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk more about the meaning in a second, actually. But basically the whole point of the stranger being uh, more of like a demon or more of a bad figure was a lot more appealing to me. Um, and it made the whole song, in my opinion, sound, um, or, or have a deeper meaning than it would have if I had both. So, yeah, that's, that's the whole song. Hello, and welcome to the lyrics section. I don't know why I said that in an accent. I'm quite scared of the dark as a person song to go and who the stranger is basically um which i know is ironic because uh i mean you're not supposed to know who the stranger is right you don't know strangers conversations with a stranger i barely know 